so everybody feels that dotnet is a programming language so instead of this one i can tell you a question that okay you can make a question that is dotnet a programming language absolutely not okay dotnet is not a programming language then what is dotnet what is dotnet will be calling dotnet is a framework okay dotnet is not a programming language and dotnet is a framework in this slide you could able to see my heading was also given as a dotnet framework okay and i would like to confirm dotnet is not a programming language by itself okay so before starting a session okay before understanding dotnet framework let's understand what is a framework why do we need a framework okay what exactly can be done with the help of the framework okay hope you understand my point dotnet is not a programming language and it is a framework okay irrespective of any programming language you will be having a respective framework okay let's start with the beginning like a framework what is a framework generally framework stands for okay software infrastructure okay the word itself indicates self explanatory word it's an infrastructure okay it is not a programming language so what do you mean by infrastructure infrastructure is nothing but okay the re required things to continue if you want to continue anything you need to have a required things a minimum things for example a car you will be having an engine i can say that an engine is a framework okay anything like the minimum things related to the application development continuation called as framework okay and a framework is a software infrastructure in which a software that provides generic functionality can be selectively changed by adding user written code to it hence providing application specific software okay i'll tell you a small example here if you have a if you have an infrastructure we can directly go to the application development okay if you don't have an infrastructure the people will start building up the infrastructure okay infrastructure is a mandatory for any place where we want to continue in the same way for every application we would like to have we need to have an infrastructure okay so when we have an infrastructure instead of writing from the scratch we can directly continue okay that is what exactly called as an infrastructure okay i'll tell you a small example here okay when a client approaches to you with a requirement generally clients approaches to your requirement when a client approaches to your requirement what we will be doing is we'll be giving you some options to the client for example think that mr one of the student like uh, abinit approached me to construct a building okay so to construct a building okay he given me the requirement and what i am doing is as an architect i am giving two options to him the first option i am telling that okay we can build okay from the scratch that is the first option i am telling then coming to the second option okay we can take the support of okay ready made foundation Okay, there are two options I am giving. First one is we can build from the scratch. Second one is why don't we take the support of ready-made functionality? And while giving these options, I am giving some points. If you do it anything from the scratch, okay, the thing is first of all it's a time-taking process. Okay, then second one is huge investment. Okay, third one is okay huge manpower. so these are the points which i am telling you the second one is okay when we take a ready made support okay which is guaranteed okay pre tested okay we can start implementation am i clear so tell me what do you suggest generally i have two of my client approaches to me i am giving you two options one is we can build any everything from the scratch while giving this option i'm telling the conditions that it's a time taking process huge investment and huge manpower required 
what is coming to the second one is it's a guaranteed by a company with a pre-tested and it's a full of support guaranteed with support okay generally obviously everybody will sell it the second one why everybody will sell it the second one here I given a point that is it's a guaranteed pre-tested or you can see the experienced architecture okay experienced architecture so definitely everybody will go for this one okay so what do you mean by this one in my option is second one is nothing but a framework understand what is a framework framework is a ready-made infrastructure for any application guys understand what is a framework framework is a software infrastructure that I mean to say is which is already built okay which is already having experience which is already having the maintenance support okay everything is available that is called as generally a framework is okay do remember for every programming language we have a framework okay I can say that in Java we have a framework in PHP we have a framework in .NET we have a framework okay and I would like to repeat once again .NET is not a programming language by itself .NET is a framework am I clear so .NET is a framework then we have already seen that what is a framework framework is a software infrastructure what is a framework framework okay is the software infrastructure okay so why do we need a framework <coughs> framework contains the support of built-in framework contains the support of guaranteed frameworks are pre-tested with a framework we need not do anything from the scratch we need not do anything from the scratch with the help of the framework okay hope you guys understand what is a framework then coming to the frameworks which are available in the market okay best example when you talk about uh, a programming language in the market like java .NET, php okay every programming language has a respect to framework example in java we have uh, something called java framework okay .NET, we have .NET framework in the same way like PHP, we have a PHP framework. What are these frameworks? Frameworks contains the architecture, framework contains the libraries, framework contains the programming languages and also contains the softwares, licenses, I mean softwares, languages, etc. And these frameworks will make your application development very faster, comfortable, okay, etc. That is what exactly called as a framework. And do remember, .NET is not a programming language. .NET is a framework. Okay, Java is a programming language, and Java also have a framework. Framework. PHP is also a programming language, and PHP is also having the framework. Okay, let's see. Generally, what a framework contains. Framework generally contains three components. First one is runtime. Okay. Second one is built in libraries. And the third one is programming languages. Or you can say programming languages. Okay. Or compilers, etc. Okay, any framework, whatever it may be. A framework contains a process engine called as runtime. Okay. And a framework contains built-in libraries okay what do you mean by built-in libraries ready-made code okay and a programming languages are also existing in the frameworks okay hope you understand guys what is a framework let's come into frameworks there are two types of frameworks frameworks are two types one is okay uh, framework for development another one is framework for deployment okay framework for development another one is framework for deployment okay what is the difference between these two framework for development which contains programming languages compilers etc which requires for application development okay so framework 
which contains all the three in the development whereas okay here you will be having only two am i clear so frameworks every development framework contains runtimes libraries programming languages am i clear let coming to the frameworks for deployment frameworks for develop deployment you will be having something called say built in libraries and do remember that frameworks are free to download frameworks are free to download understand so while coming to this development framework development frameworks allow for application development application debugging and application execution whereas deployment frameworks will allows application execution understand so development frameworks okay allows application development okay application debug and application execution understand what about this one it allows okay application execution am i clear so you have every programming language in the market in the industry like java .NET, php etc are contains framework so what a framework will do framework helps you to create the application framework helps you to debug the application and execute the application so development framework which allows everything whereas deployment frameworks which allows you to only uh, execute the application in the deployment application we cannot debug we cannot do any modifications hope you understand guys what is a framework see guys in the middle if you have any doubts please use the chat feature so that i can easily respond clear shall i continue this let's come to dotnet framework what is a dotnet framework when you talk about a dotnet framework see dotnet framework is a framework which helps you to okay yeah dotnet framework is a framework which helps you to develop debug and execute applications targeted to dotnet technologies okay dotnet frameworks helps you to develop debug or execute applications are targeted to .NET technologies. Okay, so .NET framework. You can say that it is a framework from Microsoft. Am I clear? It's a framework from Microsoft. Okay, what it will do? It is used to develop, debug, and execute applications targeted to .NET technologies. Am I clear? Targeted to .NET technologies. What do you mean by this one? Any application which you want to work with .NET, okay, that is possible with the help of .NET framework. Without .NET framework, we cannot see. I mean, we cannot execute or we cannot develop the applications in .NET. Okay, so you can understand that .NET framework is a framework from Microsoft which allows you to application development application debugging application execution which targets to dotnet technologies and you may ask a question that what a date not framework contains dotnet framework contains what it is as i said that every framework contains what runtime so dotnet framework contains runtime what is the runtime for dotnet framework c l r okay what it is common language runtime so the first component of the .NET framework is .NET runtime. Okay, so .NET runtime, which makes your application to be okay, very uh, comfortable in the process. Like it helps you to application development, application execution, etc. And I said you that every framework contains three components, right? Like .NET framework is also having three components. We have seen the first component called as runtime okay what is a runtime for dotnet common language runtime while coming to the next one libraries so what are the libraries related to dotnet in dotnet we have libraries called as assemblies okay available in the extension called as dll okay these are the assemblies and logs are having programming language compilers okay so this is what exactly dotnet framework contains why this dotnet framework is required dotnet framework okay is required to 
develop, debug, or execute any applications targeted to .NET technologies.